Hi, I'm Amy from atlantaveggies.blogspot.com and I'm going to talk just a little bit about how to take a cutting from a, rat, from a blueberry tree, which is, or bush, um, they're really bushes, but they're woody, so people think of them as trees. And when you're looking at what, what piece to take for your cutting, for starters, you know, you'll need good sharp pruners and they'll need to be clean um, so that you don't introduce bacteria to the, the cut part. Um, and you'll need a pot with a mix of vermiculite and uh, moss, peat moss, about half and half as a rooting medium and a, a big plastic bag to close it all up to make a mini greenhouse out of if you're just doing this on a small scale like I would be doing. I'm looking at this bush. It's, the, it's really fall out in the front yard. The blueberry bushes are a lot further along than this. Um, this one's still pretty green. And you usually, usually blueberry cuttings are best if they're taken from softwood. And that would have been in July. But I missed that window because it's fall now. And um, so I'm going to be taking hardwood cuttings, which are not quite as reliably successful, but they'll still work well enough for me. And so I'm going to be taking a piece piece of this bush from, from down along this stem. So just to start, because this is the one I want to work with, I've decided, looking at it more closely. Um, get this all out of the way. What you want to look at to make your cuttings is, is these, little, these little places right here. Do you see those little nodes, those little spots? Those are, those are place, sites of active growth, like a, a branch, like this little twig here would come out of a place like that. And, and that one there came out of a place kind of like that. Those are places that are actively going to grow. So the cuttings that you make should be four or five inches long. And um, when you're making each one, I tend to make them angled at the bottom. The angled side is down. The flat across side is up. That way if I put them down and I forget what I was doing, I have a clue that's very helpful. And when you're making a cutting, so I've got this angled side and I'm gonna make a little injury here on, the, on this, um, just scraping the bark here. Okay, and that scrape exposes more of the cambium layer. And the cambium layer is the part that actively grows right under the bark. And so that's where a lot of good cell division is gonna take place. And when I'm making this injury, it kind of mobilizes uh, hormones and auxins and all kind of things to those points of injury. They know that something has to be done there to fix it. And when I put this in the rooting medium, um, over time, those cells are going to form a callus and out of that callus are going to grow roots. And that's what I'm looking for. And when I put this in the soil, I'm just going to put it down in there just like an inch or so. So this is my pot that I washed. You can tell I've used it before. I'll have to relabel it. It says black cap raspberries on it and it's not going to be raspberries anymore. It's going to be blueberries. Um, you could put a lot more than just three of these twigs around here of, the, of these cut stem cuttings. You could put several and I have put some chopsticks in um, to hold the plastic bag up just so that it doesn't collapse on top of the plants. You set the whole thing in the bag and if I had been really clever, I would have brought a twisty out with me, but I don't have one with me. Um, the soil is moist, but it's not soaking wet because you don't want to start a fungus growing. You don't want it to be too wet. And I'll twisty this up. It'll be like a little mini greenhouse. And after a few weeks, and it could take time, um, I'll, I'll open it back up and check. And you can check for whether it's rooted. You don't be too eager, you know, give it time. It, if you tug on the twig, on the, on the stem cutting and, it's, and it resists being pulled out of the, of the soil, then that means it started to have some roots that are hanging down in there. And that's, that's a good thing. So um, after they have started to grow some roots, you'll, they'll be able to move them to a fresh pot. And then you'll be able to grow them on and have lots more blueberries for your yard. So this is Amy starting um, blueberry tree from a stem cutting. Mm -hmm.